Good morning, guys. Today is Saturday. I'm off work, and we are headed to the river with the kayak for the first trip of 2020 on the kayak. Uh, I wanted to get out super early this morning. I woke up, wasn't feeling great. Woke up with this huge freaking fever blister. It never fails. When I plan on filming a trip, I get a fever blister. Every single time, it never fails. Sometimes I won't film. But today, y'all just gonna have to look at my fever blister because we're going out on the river. Gates are open. There's, damn, I don't know if y'all can see that side. But the water is churning. Right there is where we're headed. It's a lot of overcast. We might be able to do good as long as these bass boats stay clear of us all right so we're just getting out here there's a ton of boats on the water a ton of boats I had to wait at the boat ramp for a good little bit before I could even put the kayak in but we're out here and I'm seeing some shad pop I don't know if they're being chased or what but we're gonna find out real quick it's probably too late for top water but it's still overcast and I do see them popping. I'm just gonna try to throw on them when I see them hit. If they're chasing shad. Oh, we might have to switch from the old crankbait in a minute. Start throwing something else. This is not producing and I know fish are here. There he is. At the boat, finally. He ain't a big one, but he's the first one. That's all I had to do was threaten, threaten to switch from the crankbait and get a bite. He's decent. He's decent. I guess I can get to practice putting him on the board. I haven't got to put one on the board this year. You hooked yourself twice, buddy. You can get it out. them runkle pliers that I got they stay tethered to my seat I just give away a pair of these on Instagram they are great I'll put a link in the video description for them he's not too bad not too bad at all he's fat boy they've been eating look how wide his belly is compared to his body all right so it's not gonna be a skunk after all I was getting a little bit worried not gonna lie I was getting a little bit worried Caught that one on, I can't remember the name of this, I'll put it in the video description, but I think that's a DT6, and he hit that like right at the boat. This drawer under my seat that I keep pulling out is amazing. If you're new to my channel, I've got a video on exactly how I built this, this pull out drawer, it's awesome. We're going to go from this to this, see if it makes any, any different in our bite. If I can do this without getting tangled up down there. So, 
I'm gonna show you guys something, and you're not supposed to do this, but it's kind of it's something that really bothers me. I know a lot of people that live on the river or live near the river, they like to jug fish, and there's no, there's no issue with jug fishing at all. I've done it before. I know a lot of people that jug fish, but like this noodle right here was tied up, and I'm sure it was tied up in somebody's slough way up the river. Well, when you don't go out and get all your jugs, you usually hook a fish, and that fish ends up having to swim around the rest of his life pulling a jug. Now, I don't know if there's one on here or not, and you're not supposed to check other people's noodles, so don't do this, but I'm gonna look at it because this is clearly washed all the way down the river up against the dam, and I think there's an actual fish on this one. It's probably a catfish, but we're gonna look. They just wear themselves out and end up dying in, you know, somewhere because people don't get them. Yeah, there's definitely a fish on it. actually a big one. Big old channel cat, all tangled up, can't go anywhere. probably gonna piss some of y'all off but if you don't collect your jugs I'm gonna let the jug wash up on the bank I'm not taking the jug but if you don't collect them there's no bait on it so I ain't gotta worry about another fish getting on it but that was like a five and a half six pound catfish that was just gonna wash up over here get the rope for, you know more tangled up on himself and everything else on the dam either get hung up in the dam and die or just be washed up on the rocks over here and die. And again, there is nothing wrong with jug fishing. Noodle fishing is fun. Just collect them all. Make sure you get them all. If they wash off, get in a boat and go find it. Because odds are, if it's out of your slough and it's washed out, there's a fish on it. couple of hours since I've caught a fish. 
Okay. He's a pretty decent one. I gotta do this quick because this wind out here is brutal. They're all fat though. Look at that big old belly. There's number two. This took it, it's taking a while, but. So that's the dam. That's Neely Henry Dam right here. And I fished all that riprap. I didn't really get too close to the dam. All right, guys. I think I'm going to end that video right here. I just went live on YouTube and had a chat with some of you guys as I was trying to battle my way through this wind. I don't even know if you can hear me right now, but if you can, I appreciate you watching the video today. We was able to catch a couple, but the weather was right. I just couldn't figure out what they were biting. And I, I think I figured it out right at the end. And now I got to get home and get some stuff done around the house today. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.